Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here. We are back with Man Lords. This is part four. And as you can see, we've just finished our major battle with the banditos. Our people are now moving back to position. That has actually affected our production fairly a fair amount, but nothing too major. So we now have enough influence to claim the territory. There's a rich deposit there. I'm gonna claim with influence. Press claim towards this region. Hopefully no one will stop me. If we get it, we're going to set up a settlement around, probably just around here, near this windmill. And I don't know about farming and stuff because obviously we've taken the, and we've got the, we've got this policy that makes yields, it reduce yields in crops and how much meat we're making at the moment. That's very useful to us. We're also doing pretty well on production. I don't know if we've got any of the other food requirements still coming. We do have eggs being produced, but not much of them. But we may be able to import some other foods to sort that, making quite decent gold. We obviously have no ale at this point. <clears throat> so we do need to get things like malt house and things back on track. We have a lot of uh, people working around the blocks. Claiming takes some time. Sorry, we paused. That's why. We also need people to go back to their territories. Hopefully no one stops our claim. A bandit camp decide where. Where is that one? Not in our territory, so I don't really care. We can go and deal with it if needed, but... And our retinae took some pretty bad hits. I don't really know how you get these guys back, rally. Minimum of five recruit recruits is required. Make sure you have enough recruits and appropriate weapons in the region. So I think they need, like, swords and shields and armor. <clears throat> we are producing sidearms. And I believe the... Is it the shield guy? Join the shop. He can produce small shields, which would be useful. <clears throat> We are going to start running out of resources soon enough, though, if people, when people don't actually get back to their positions. It's going to take them a little bit of time to get back into the flow of things. But they'll get there. I'm sure they will. <laughs> <coughs> but we're making good gold. We could actually start buying some of the things if we need it. I'm just trying to things anything we could buy, which would be quite useful. We could buy certain crops to make. We could, like, we could buy wheat. Wheat's quite cheap. We could use that with a windmill or something to start making our own grain, make our own bread. Which would be quite awesome. We could just import bread. But oh no. It's 14 to import. Great grain as well. Gee, wheat. It's 12 to import. That's insanely expensive. Especially when they're not even getting that much to export some of these things. Global critically oversupplied, extremely low prices. Oh, stop selling. No trade. So we've sold so many bows, the base have become <laughs> useless. <laughs> We have like 30 war bows. Now we could we could do archers. I've heard archers are pretty pretty poor at the moment. But could we do archers? Archer squad. We just need to yeah, uh, we ain't got enough people, but soon we'll have an archer unit. I've heard they're pretty awful, but if we've got the war bows spare, why not? Might as well take advantage of all the equipment. Oh god. We could do with another large shield as well, actually. Yeah. That's the blacksmith. Get a couple more large shields if we need them. And we're still claiming that territory. It's a nice steady one there. Trying to think of our next moves. We've got a few houses that still aren't occupied. Another ruler's army was sighted. Yeah. yeah, that's his territory. What's he got then? He's got archers, light infantry, light infantry. Mercenary infantry. Alright, oh, so they're not even like his proper troops. Quite, quite tanky, quite tough. Got to be a little bit careful there. Yeah, we've got a lot of leather still. still oh, let's check actually. Are we over buying leather? Because if the trade's gone down on its backside. No, leather's still exporting well. How about food? We're still doing our, well on our berry exports, even though we're low on that. Meat, we need to get those numbers back up. To make sure we have enough food for ourselves. <coughs> we are still making a bit of gold here. Gold off. There's gold off. Oh, he's claiming that, that's fine. I don't really care. As long as I can get my iron supply steadily in. We actually have people unemployed at the moment. We could probably be employed in some various workshops. No, we don't need a clay furnace. We're okay for hunters. We don't need any in the berry place. All we'll do is we'll, we'll keep the traders up. We'll get the. Oh, 
Where's the small boat? Small these places. These are actually got stacked people working them. Didn't realise. Bloomery. No, we don't need the bloomery. Get in the stables. Just basically keep them keep them working, keep logistics going. Construction wise, I don't think there's anything we need as of yet. I think Forest is sort of growing another nice area. Saw pit. We can make things from dyes and stuff. Right, residential. We've got all that covered. Oh, corpse pit. <coughs> For get rid of any raider corpses quickly. Um, yeah, just build that. Build that over there at the end of that road. Administration. <coughs> Settlers come once we've obviously settled the new area. Is that regional wealth or our own wealth? I'm hoping that's regional wealth. That might be our own wealth. So we might not be able to. Place an empty claim territory in order to sell it. Grant space starting supplies and five starting families. Right. That's going to be difficult. So we'll have that lot of land claims, but we won't be able to settle it until we actually get more money in. Which is a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what we will do. <laughs> We reduce some of these guys in the stables and start um, maxing out production of things like lumber and planks. If we can get them, where's planks? Not planks. There's much. Sort of there. Oh, it's already on it. So we've got tons of what, war bows being produced. How much resource do we have? We do need more planks and more timber. This thing needs. Looks like it's cut down quite a bit. Relocate. Um, quite a lot of trees there, so if we do it okay about there. This guy is planting, so hopefully we'll get on it. We'll quickly build that place up. I hope anyway. And then we'll stack these people on the um, logging camp and get it done. At least we've claimed some territory. <coughs> Excuse me. We actually have taxes coming. Are we actually making any money from taxes? Let's make them a little bit. Yeah, we'll get some approval loss, but people will go over it, don't worry about it. Clothing store, that's good. So, ah, food. They are happy now, they've got the food required, so we just need clothing. So we need someone who's going to make us clothes, cloaks, all that kind of stuff. What we could do, that one's, I need to actually make some of these plots level 2, because I don't want to get rid of the chicken farms or anything. I need to make sure people are in them. So here, they haven't got the food stuff required yet. If we actually make these... Um, one's going to have to be a clothing place. Uh, that is this guy. I think you make, can make it from like linen, uh, leather and stuff as well. Gambus and cloaks and all that. To make a tailor's workshop. That's fine with me. We do need more planks and timber to be getting nailed down though. That should get built quick and we'll get the maximum amount of people on it anyway. Start them really working away. So it must be in like the mid game now I think. There we go. Stab that up. Cool. So, permanent livestock thing. I don't understand those. You can have permanent livestock assignment. Oh, right. That means you can have a, an animal permanently working with them. They take one away from them. And then they eat. And if it does. No? <clears throat> Seems like it would reduce you know, a permanent livestock worker Conrad waiting Con Conrad which one's one of these is Conrad I believe yeah the guy is right so we permanently put a livestock worker on the logging camp alright that's kind of smart so you can certain things can be advanced better with a permanent livestock worker which any other trades alright oh, the trading post can also be a permanent livestock worker so Let's put one on there. Don't think we need three on that. Taylor's shop, look right. And then what we're going to do is. Pause a sec. Planks are still taking time, so we're going to start producing planks so we can upgrade more plots to level three. So we get more time. Oh, we've got crap tons of money coming in now, which is fantastic. Oh, these need burial. Oof. Yeah. Okay, we need to get some people on this. Get two on that for now. Whilst he's busy upgrading. Have they got extra food stuff? Food supply store. They're quite close to it. Now we need to make more things level 2, but we haven't got the planks for it at the moment. We just need to get start producing more timber, more wood. But we're doing okay. General storage 4, no, we're fine, we're fine. Planks are coming back, good. 
So these are all level 2. Are these all level 2? I believe so. These aren't level 2 yet. These are level 2, some of them. There's one in that house. Yes. Is it is it wood or no, it's just standard standard wood to upgrade them, so that's not a problem. So we'll just get that person working on them while they bury those bodies. And ah, fantastic. We're expanding. We don't have enough money though to put down the old Is that this can do it? Not enough gold. So we need to build build our, our own personal wealth now. <clears throat> that's fine now. We have enough food coming in. Yeah, we still have quite a bit of food. Berries are actually coming back. I would like some berries to be. Don't need two in there. These stable people. So get one on the berries straight away. Harvest them. Then. Could actually get two on them if we've got um, room. I don't think we need a large storehouse with two. Uh, actually, no. Uh, yeah, for now we do. Just keep one person on berries. As long as the food's coming in, I'm quite happy. Just check the trade, make sure nothing's been oversold. Step right up, step right up. So war bows are oversupplied because reasons. And leather is still making decent money. Still got tons of leather about me. Yeah, loads. Um Taylor's shop, so what's she actually making in general? From linen, from yarn and dyes. Ah, oh, we haven't got any linen, that's the problem. I thought they might be able to make something from leather. Yeah. So we need linen. Uh, can we import some? Trade linen. Let's have a look. Oof, pricey as hell. Very pricey. Well, established trade route. We're going to import. And we'll just make the stockpile five. So we can afford that by the amounts of our sales. Food wise, we're not exporting anything at the moment, not much anyway, because we're obviously making. I want to increase this one just so we have enough meat at all times. Spears, no. War bows, we're not. We have to wait until they've stopped being oversupplied to a ridiculous amount. Uh, tools, we can sell them for a pretty penny, but I don't want to use all our iron up. And construction materials, no, I'd like to. I'd like to keep what I've got. No. Actually, though, we can probably import some, just a bit of barley. We do, if we import just a stockpile of, just make it three, make it a low amount. You know, we need to have one box. If we take one of the grave diggers off, put them in there. Cool. And then anything that doesn't need as many workers. Oh, good. We have soil pits working with backside off blanks, that's good. Um, the ones in the church, don't need them. Well, if we take. We actually used all our iron on here. No, still, still working on that. Take him off that, put him in the church for now, because I think there's one of our own bodies that needs burying. The village required to be buried with the hollow ground of the church went, while radius can be dumped to the court, so make sure you have a family assigned to handle it. They're handling away, don't worry. So it did take a bit of my funds there because we bought some stuff. I believe we bought. Was that the barley? Yeah, that was the barley. We're going to need three, so we're not going to have too much of it. That might be meat give us some supply of ale. And then we sold some food or whatever. As long as we're selling more than we're spending, that's the main thing. That is hopefully the main thing. That must have been some linen. Got leather being sold, fantastic. We've got, oh, that can stop piles of food whilst we're waiting now. These are upgrading though slowly. Some berries make quite a bit of monies. Uh, market stall. Now you see if we take them off, we can use a market stall. Large storehouse. Ooh. Never enough people to work on jobs, eh? He's almost done with the iron ore thing, so once he's done, he can go on the berry thing. Not taking long to dig that out. <laughs> and that'll be all done. Mining pit exhausted, lovely. Sign the bugger. Yep, demolish. And we'll put you on the berry thing. Start in berries. Berry, berry. Berry, berry. 
And we're still building these um, upgrades here. Do you have any A already? Not yet. Keep working on that mole house, lad. And then we just keep powering through. He should be getting some reasonable taxes. Is it monthly, I imagine? He gets collected or something. I'd hope so. Yeah, level two's there. Well, as we've got the... No, no planes. I think it's the Boyer guy just chewing through warboats. Right. We're going to put him on a pause for a bit. Simply because... I think are these fully equipped. 30 out of 36. Oh, we ain't got enough people. So we need more people for that. Fair enough. Uh, the trading post is still... All bows are still down. Just checking leather's not being sold for stupidly low. It should tell you a little bit where the price dips, I think. We're not, we can sell meat still. Not send the berries. We need to stock them up. Barley, we've got some. And we buy any linen. I think we're trying to. Pay this shot. You go with anything? He's getting there. Oh, I think we've got enough large shields there, haven't we? Yes. Go in this shop. He makes these from planks, I believe. So he's probably chewing through quite a few of the planks as well. Didn't think of that, really. Oh, right, and the corpses, which is good. I suppose goods... Oh, it's, it's iron. I suppose goods are getting soaked. It's a bit of iron, but chill out, dude. It's not end of the world. It's not end of the world. We finally start moving in. Good stuff. Do you have any ale yet? Ale? Yeah, we've got one ale, right. Get on the tavern and see if we can get to level 3 once. I need clothing supply store to do it as well. The tavern will boost people's opinion of us. So, if we keep upgrading these blocks, he's upgrading that to level 2, so more money. We're making a nice little bit of taxes, lovely. Step right up and set. Yes, you know, people are leaving in. Good stuff. Sale, trade, all good stuff. I don't know how long that ale will last, but it's alright. We've got any clothing being produced. I should tell you. No, not yet. He's probably working on it. Construction complete, level 2. Right. I think. These are these got people in? No. I don't even think someone's even in there, are they? No, they're not. I'm a tip. <laughs> I thought, we still got loads of housing then. Um, we'll make these level two plots, and we can at least get some money out of them, and then we can make them. Uh, we've upgraded some plots that haven't been used yet, but I'm sure people will move in eventually. The approval should go up soon once we've got the tavern pumping. Taxation, people happy, but church variety and food and the tavern and all that kind of stuff, all good. All those bodies buried. Nice. Get off the corpse pit. You can help with construction. It looks like money's going up and down quite nicely. Um, we must, have we got any linen yet? We're down to one barley, so we're producing ale. Where's the linen? I swear to God, we ordered some, didn't we? Let's have a leak. Yeah, import five. Let me see what the trade is. Get your ass in there, lad. Slow. Train post. Tons of leathers just stockpiled there. Oh, so we still have absolute tons of leather, just slowly selling it, which is probably better than. As long as leather's not being sold for dirt cheap. Oh! But oversupplied, prices are lower than usual. No trade, no trade. Don't sell it for a little bit. Hold off. War bones. They'll be going back up to price soon. So we'll wait a little bit. Do we have any other? Couldn't never mind. We've got some large shields spare. Current surplus. Mm. It's expensive to establish that trade route though. No, we'll just we'll just wait. We'll wait for now. We'll take the hits. We'll get those houses built. We'll get other stuff done like that. Excuse me, a piece of tea there, a piece of tea. Uh, are they what crops? Are these grown crops that must be. That's good. A bit of extra food. <clears throat> no vegetables yet, but I'm sure they'll be on the way. A lot of these little plots though, if they're not growing anything. These give us hides, I don't think I'm sure on how it's got chicken coop. There's a vegetable garden. Oh these got people in? They have yeah. 
these are all making those things as well. And while we're waiting, we might as well have make these chickens pickle, chickens vegetables, vegetables. They spent a bit of money there, but we'll have constant supply of stuff, which is good. And then we're getting these these pots are getting slowly built as well. Fantastic, more tax inbound, so we can start settling the new area. We're getting into that end game, or well, not end game, mid game, I'd say, which is fantastic. We get any bloody linen yet? So I to go and try and import it. I don't know where it's coming from. Linen, Zard surplus five, import. Where's the trader? He's just no linen. Oh bugger! Oh bugger! Get more stuff, but sort it. Look, we need planks. I think we're going through planks quicker than we can make them, really. I think Blacksmith, does he use planks as well in this portion? No. Brewery, he's making ale, I believe. Minus one ale. Else. <laughs> okay, Min I don't know how we're on minus one ale, one sec. Trade, where's the food? Where's the crop? Barley, just make it surplus six, because we're obviously going to use it. So we obviously need it. What's we like? I know I'm checking the trade a lot, but I want to see on the price. So, Warbos are still down. Leather. Price is down for now, so we're just going to wait a bit. Stops you just trading one resource. That's actually really smart. But it's, it's just an aftershot of the food. We're getting tons from the berries. I'm making. I'm actually stuck another person on the um, berries. There we go. Very good. Any chance of getting level 3? Clothing supply store. So we've got linen leather over there, but we need shoes, cloaks, or... Oh! Cobbler, what's he make? Wait a minute. Just thought, what does a cobbler make shoes from? Cobbler. That must be from leather. Let's get a cobbler. I know it reduces our families by one. Or we can always take someone off something. Step right up, step right up. Malt house. Um, tannery. Workers camp. Small stable. Oh, church. We don't need them all in the church. For now, just keep the construction going. Making some decent money. Oh, we burning through a bit of cash. For sure. We buy the linen finally. Yay! We bought the linen. Will we soon have what we need? Ale's not there yet. Or we just need to get to level 3 so we can get some more points. Construction finished, cobbler shop, right. They should use linen. Where do I choose? It's down here, isn't it? Cobbler shop. Cobbler. I imagine cobblers will use leather to make shoes. Yeah, we can no, buy some, spend some. Barley. Lemon, fair enough. Trade, Warbows should be coming back to the amount. Still low. You know what? Export. Because he's got the goddamn. If we look at the amount of le 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 leather we've got, we've got 255. So we might as well go until the price drops and get some money in. Because we're buying some expensive stuff as well. We're constantly buying stuff. It's killing us. Oh, there we go, getting some, getting some sales now. Yes! Here comes the money. Here comes the money! We're not building more We've got planks coming in now. Oh, we're getting planks back. That's good. The other boy here. That's your shot. Get back on it, lad. Spirit Blacksmith. He's still producing swords. You know what? We might actually go for it. We've got, we have an archer unit, basically. We might as well go for an infantry unit. What does an infantry unit need? Militia footmen. What do they need? Small shields and swords. Yes, we'll go for them. We're getting there. We're getting there on the swords and small shields. Sure. We've got tons of war bows available now. But gold's going back up. I mean, at level 3, can we upgrade? We just need the tavern supply. Give me some ale. Give me some ale. Oh, house. Come on, lads. Don't be lazy. Everything in the store, oh, it's in the storehouse. 
So, reorder, order a new ox. Still still hold with other things. Or a new horse, yes. No space available. And then there, oh. <clears throat> if there's anything that needs basically permanent support from a <clears throat> livestock. It's already got livestock assigned to the trading post. Oh that the storehouse. I need it to be in front of it. <clears throat> Saw pits pumping out wood, very good pace. Loving it. Almost there for settling the new region. <clears throat> What's that? Not enough sta stable space. Really? Oh, a new horse. Son of a bitch. Um, just put me another kitchen post then. <clears throat> Gun the logistics, I believe. Um, just put one. Put one there in case. <clears throat> make it more close. I'm sure they'll keep it busy. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they're doing okay, I think. Oh, minus 80. Jesus, what did we buy? That must have been the women. We have clothes coming. Come one, come all. Take this shot. He's looking gambersom. He should be making gambersom. Have any gambersoms? No, not yet. Nothing's been Get produced. Oh wait, whoa, level three, requirements not met. They're saying the requirements are met. We've got them all. What? Oh great, level three, all the requirements are met. We just have to hold them for a while. Do I have the supplies? Yes, I do. I just need three level threes to get to the next point. I want the next point, please. We've got the amenities, we've got them. Son of a bitch. Come on. We've got ale. I think. Same, we've got ale. Are you producing ale? Start working, lad. We should be able to upgrade to level three. Uh, right, all the requirements are met as far as I know. It's tavern supply, we need to hold that. Right. We built that on the hitching post. Right. Get on the tavern supply. We should have some ale. And then we do have some barley. Just need to get to level three. Come on. Trade. How's leather doing? Supplies down. Boyer bows. Still got war bows spare. Surplus. This thing's still got crap tons of leather in it. Yeah, it's not selling at a reduced price, but it gets us money, so who cares? I'm just pumping through now. Bit of a bit of a waiting game on this one. <coughs> Does it have ale? Wait, why don't produce an ale, you dickhead? Pardon me, French, everyone. Can't afford that much barley, it's really expensive. It's very expensive, in fact. Has he produced any gambersons yet? One, we have one. Woohoo! Ooh, yeah! I think we have shoes coming. Get your linen here! Get your linen here! Jesus Christ, cost me a fortune. Shoes. It should be producing shoes anyway. I hope it's from leather. Does it say what he actually needs? Yeah, it's from leather, sweet. Are we still producing leather? Yeah, we've still got the leather coming in. Berries are. Getting stockpiled nice. We've got enough food for quite a while. Good stuff. Obviously we have the extra we have the eggs coming in and soon to be some vegetables if we keep growing stuff. God, chewing through our monies. <clears throat> it's a son of a bitch. A son of a bitch. You're a son of a bitch. Trade. The bow's back on price yet, but yeah. That does this fucking dip. Not the French with dip soon. Right. Where is the ale? Right, we have some ale. Just well, wait. Right. Yes. Level three. <clears throat> level three. Level three. Right. We need some people on construction. <laughs> We're doing it. We're spamming it. We are it for timber, and then we best keep them on <clears throat> timber and plank production because it's one of our main stuff. Um, 
We've got three on berry picking. Do it because it's good food. <coughs> it's free, it's cheap. But we will have level three, we'll have that point soon, and soon we shall have. I think it gives extra space for families as well, doesn't it? Yeah, we can get two families in there, which is really good. Oh my god, 150 there, what do we sell? <laughs> Must have been leather. Near that. Near that, lad. Let's just check that. Price is not completely dropped into the backside. I think it's minus nine. And now we've got minus nine. But in exploring leather. So what we're going to do, we're going to no trade it for a little bit. War bows, we're going to export them for a little bit. Because we do have a nice supply of war bows. We still have a lot of leather altogether. But we're just going to wait until the price goes back up. New mercenary companies available. These are really quite nicely. Nice. Yep, and we can build a new settlement. Oh, good morning. We've got the big thing. Settlers camp. Now, we do need a food supply on the rear. There's berries. There's also food. I think the settlers camp in around here would be a good idea. Oh, town. Ooh. Oh, wow. So you can make a different type of thing if you've got more money. Why can't you keep farming but are these other things? Settlement options. Can't click them. Modest, basic supplies, confirm. And do you get five families in them? Oh, so when you're in that region... Oh, it switches to like a different thing. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we now have to start setting up... Um, one for that. And then... Construction. Ooh. Gathering. Uh, there's underground water. Cool. They have good farming. Oh, we can build barley and make stuff like that. Make potentially make a farming settlement here, but we need the iron as well. We just need a um, logging camp. Let's make it straight out the bat. Let's put it. Let's put it there. So we start on that straight away, and just yeah, start on that building. No rush there. Now we've got two settlements to manage. Jesus, that's going to be a pain in the ass. But having the iron supply and stuff, let's just do this. Let's construction complete workers camp. Yeah, that's going to tell us in other regions. That's that's awesome though, we've settled it. I like that. And then we're going to get to level three. Definitely going to increase the stuff we're going to do. So they've been upgraded. So that, can that have two families in there? Residing families, one or two. Wow, so that increases the space of your buildings massively. So you don't need to keep spanning houses, just keep quality of people coming in. I think we'll mine us on planks, but that'll, that'll resettle soon. Right. And they built that logging camp yet. They're building it. Right, sweet. Over here, we also need... The, so we need two on the logging camp. Need... Isn't there a storehouse or a granary or something here? Stone deposit. Can you... Can you, like, rebuild that or something? Disabled. Right, can you put a granary on it or something? Granary disabled. I don't know if that's something we're going to put in later. But we need a granary and we need a storehouse. Straight out the bat as well. And storehouse. And food-wise, we'll just go for a hunter's camp. Up there somewhere that that will get them enough uh, food, but they do have a bit of bread. I think they can trade with us for for resources. Are these all done? Level three or higher? Boom! We're just waiting for that one to be done. Come on. Fine, you son of a bitch. Exposed stocks. Yes, I know. I know. But they get they're done once the grain's done. Well, is it coming? Come on, don't miss it. Yay! No. Grander is finished on the other side. Let's jump back to there. Yeah, I know you're homeless at no granary thing. And after you've built that, I need someone just to work in the granary for now. Um we need need a bit of food coming in. There's Hunter's Lodge. For some reason I can only think of the Dune soundtrack in my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now it's gone all, all crazy. 
Alright. Oh, curved. Curved roots. I'll do that. I'm do that. Alright. And they'll sort the food and stuff out. They'll get things stockpiled. Granary. Right. Oh, we can also make... Is it residential? Market space? Market space! One space for the market. There you go. Load the space. Here are Earth! Yes, so this one. We just got another development point. We did it. We hit. We hit it. Oh, they want 10, 10 level 3 or higher. Well, if we've got the... If we've got the needs for it, that one should be too hard. Right, development. Most of these are locked. But there's, so this one's... What's this? Permanent market store which provides passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay transport fee but must be placed on the marketplace. Food cart, permanent thing that provides bread. Right, that's quite useful. We can also produce armour in the blacksmith workshop. Jarkins can put one firewood into two charcoal, making refueling twice sufficient. The armor thing could be really good. Um, new upgrade armor's workshop. That's for better infantry. This one's quite good. So, um, establish a trading route always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth. That's very powerful. We've also got heavy plow, enables oxen at farmhouse, sheep breeding, orchard, produces apples, apple harvest happens in September every year. Okay. Workers collect honey. Every region can stain up to two apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yields. Um. I'm gonna go for that one. I'm kinda of going into this kind of this side of stuff. But I like the idea of having the honey place, like making honey. Oh, we haven't got the tavern supply. Keeping that going is difficult as hell. We need barley to like a ridiculous degree. But the wealth seems to be levelling out. We're doing okay over here. We've expanded. So yeah, that'll be the end of episode four. I think we've done well. We've claimed a region finally. We've got a almost got our second militia force going. The town is getting pretty good now. We're getting these level threes. Once we, it's only going to take us to basically get seven more of those built, and we basically got all the options here to do it. All we need to do is get that tavern secured in this facility over here, or this this town. And we actually look at things like barley fertility. Look, these can crop grow. So potentially we could get rid of that policy. Do they have different policies over here as well? They do. Wow. So this could be a farming place as well as iron. Once we start building it and get the iron coming in. Rich and I just need to look at how to trade stuff between them so we're sharing supplies. Because we can export that iron to here. We can make an absolute fortune in making you know, armor stuff. But this this place will develop by itself, but if we can make it a farming place, that can be in the industrial place, and this can be the kind of the raw resources. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm really enjoying bringing it to you a bit of a slow one. But we are producing, we're going to have a militia unit soon, and I think the next production place will be here, even more iron. As our influence grows and our wealth grows. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. You guys have a fantastic weekend.